Hey everybody, welcome back to Champion Sons and our new coaching dynasty here in NCAA football as we are coming off a tough loss to Georgia, one that we surprisingly had a chance at had we been able to pull off the amazing comeback. But hey, we weren't able to do it. We did better than what we expected to. So it's kind of one of those you take what you can get out of it um, and the positives that we could get coming from it. One of those positives is that we have a new quarterback, Grant Gunnell. He performed exceptional in that game. Yeah, he made his mistakes, and you know what? He's probably going to throughout the season, but he provides us a lot more of an upside than Austin does. And now that we're coming into our conference play, this will be our first conference game against Tulane. We really need to have some of those positives working for us in our uh, our way and doing basically better than what we would get from Austin. So that's kind of why we have decided to go with him is he's got a large a greater scene and a greater upside um, than what austin does for us so coming into this one we are going to be facing off against the two lane green wave here in a our first conference usa matchup now this one it should be a fairly decent game we should be pretty close to them um we're two fairly even teams, so this one should be... I'm, I'm expecting a little bit of back-and-forth action as we go throughout. Now, we are going to go ahead and get this one started here. After stopping Tulane, we now have seven minutes left in the first quarter. Gunnell drops back and fires a pass over to Bush on the right side. who's going to pick up six yards. That's the first reception for Tommy Bush this afternoon. So, two and two on the season, looking to get into the winning column once again trying to hopefully avoid a two-game slide, but we are going to have to be on our game in this one. So now after that play for six yards, we have a third and four here. Gunnels in the pistol formation, three wide, has a snap, drops back, fires it over. He's got Roderick Burns up the middle, but there is going to be a flag. That is not what you want to see, and they're going to call holding on us. Oh, I had a feeling that something like that would happen. Oscar Attaway, our running back, stayed in to block. And he's going to be the one that snagged with the hold. They did bring a blitz on that. And, you know, not as much pressure. And now we know why. So that's going to make it third and 14 from our own 42-yard line here. As Gunnell comes out in a shotgun. Three receivers to the left. Has the snap. They bring a blitz again. Fires it quickly to Burns. He's down the sideline. He's at the 20. At the 10. Touchdown, Mean Green. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. And that's how you respond right after a holding call as you go 58 yards for the touchdown. He saw him, the coverage this did, really brought the blitz, so he didn't have anybody on top of him. And that left him wide open. Gunnell saw that quickly, got it fired over to him, and he just took it the rest of the way himself into the end zone to give us an early lead. Now, Tulane would come back and tie it up, so we find ourselves here in a 7-7 ball game in the second quarter. As Gunnell has a snap, pressure comes. He tries to go for a run, but is unable to get out of the pocket, and he's going to be sacked for a two-yard loss by Jojo Dorcius. <laughs> Jojo. As he gets sacked for a two-yard loss on that first and 10, so that's going to make it second and 12. We are at the 36-yard line of Tulane on the plus side of the field here, trying to work in for another score. Now on second and 12 in a shotgun. Gunnell, he has the option keeper, takes it to the left side, breaks one tackle, and tries to go forward and is hammered to the turf now for no gain on that one by Macon Clark. Good play by the two-lane defense there. They are keeping an eye on that edge. So they're able to cover those runner, the running back, and they also have someone there for Gunnell uh, whenever he pulls it down. So now third and 12, here we come in a shotgun. Gunnell with the snap, looks back, fires it to the left side. He's got Damon Ward for 14 yards. And the first down, great pinpoint throw there on the sideline to get that first down and a great catch by Ward to concentrate to get his feet down. So now first and 10, coming out in the shotgun once again. Three wide set. Gunnell, play action, they bring a blitz. He rolls out to the right. Gunnell's got some space. He's going to take it himself, and he runs out of bounds right at the yard to gain and actually picks up 11 yards on that one. He's now got 26 yards on six carries so far today. So here we are at the 11 inside the red zone, first and 10. We can get a first down without getting a touchdown. Gun on a shotgun, two back set. It's gonna be an option. He had tosses it to Ragsdale, who's got the edge into the end zone. Touchdown, Mean Green. Oh my goodness. Oh baby, oh baby. What an option play right there. Good night, so it was a double option 
a triple option, really, as he tossed it at the last second. Good job getting that ball out and giving us the lead. So now with under one minute to go, we're driving once again to try to extend our lead. We still have a 7-14 lead on us here as we throw that one incomplete, rolling out nobody around uh, to receive that pass, and so it does fall incomplete there. So second and 10 now, 51 seconds remaining in the first half. Gunnell comes out in the shotgun. He's got four wide set now. Ragsdale in the backfield. Has the snap, rolls out to the right once again. Nowhere to go with it and nobody to throw to. So he does throw that one out of the, out of just out into the stands, basically. Making it a third and ten. And that's a little smarter of a play. We need him to continue to be this smart. It's whenever he starts trying to push it, and the way we did with Austin, you know, sometimes that's when those mistakes are likely to happen. Now on third and ten, Gunnell has the snap, drops back. Fires it over the middle, and that one's going to be deflected. Almost intercepted right there. That is a dangerous pass. That is a dangerous pass. Now, we would miss that field goal, and it would go into halftime at 14 all. So here we are now in the third quarter. Game is still tied at 14. Gunnell drops back. He finds Jake Roberts over the middle for 10 yards on that one. A good job with the pressure that is coming in his face. Tulane is doing a great job to bring that pressure uh, from the line. Gunnell's 12 of 17 so far today. So pretty decent afternoon completion percentage wise. Now an option keeper once again, he pushes forward and does get the two yards needed uh, for the first down. 60 yards now for him on 10 carries uh, this afternoon. So we are at the 15 yard line with a first and 10. Coming set just over five minutes to go in the third quarter in a 14 all ball game. Three wide set from the shotgun. Gunnell, play action. Has the snap, drops it off to the left side for Burns, who picks up just a few yards. Looks like he's going to pick up three yards on that one. Roderick Burns has got 61 in total on the day um, after that 58-yard touchdown earlier. So second and seven now. He's going to be all alone in the backfield and a shotgun. Five wide. They bring a blitz. He throws it quickly, and that one's almost intercepted. Ooh, Nick Anderson deflected it, but almost had it. It looked like it hit him right in the face mask. Maybe he wasn't expecting the throw to come so quickly in his face, but got lucky right there. So third and seven once again from the shotgun. Gunnell has the snap. Quick throw over to Damon Ward, who's going to get hit early and brought down after a gain of five. So that's going to make it fourth and two, and we would settle for a field goal. Now here later in the fourth quarter, just about six minutes remaining in this one. The game is tied at 17 as we hand that one off, on, this time on the option to add away. And we see why we kind of been keeping it a little bit more often. Dorian Williams is going to get the tackle for a loss and put Attaway down for a loss of one yard, making it second and 11. Oscar's got 15 carries for 83 yards on this afternoon. We need to keep feeding him the ball. But on the second and 11, we throw it to Ragsdale. Who's going to fumble it? He fumbles that one away. Ragsdale, normally pretty good with possession, had the catch, and then just the hit jarred it loose. He was getting close to the marker, and then just a big hit came from him, came from Tulane and knocked the ball loose, and that's going to give Tulane the lead now, 24 to 17, with just over two minutes remaining here as we have possession of the ball. Second and seven, dropped that one off to Attaway, and he dropped it. He just dropped it. It bounced off his hand. He cut. He caught that one as well as the linebacker did on the earlier play. So third and seven now, just over two minutes. We do still have our three timeouts, so important detail to keep. On second and seven, Gunnell drops back and throws a dangerous one again. A Johnny Kerr gets his second deflection of the day. We've got to be more careful about that. They did force us to punt the ball with where we were, and Tulane did go down and score relatively quickly. So now we have the ball back once again with just about a minute remaining. We're trying to see if we can't make a miracle happen in this one. The miracle at Tulane is what we will call it if we can pull it off. Down by two scores, 31 to 17. Gunnell with the snap, stands in the pocket. Pressure comes, drops it off to Burns, pushing forward. Roderick Burns picks up eight yards. Now we have no more timeouts at this point. So we are gonna have to be going into the hurry up. As we get to the line quickly, we're going to be in a stay in the shotgun, three wide set. Going to play action. Drops back, rolls out to his right, fires it quickly, and that one's going to be incomplete. Larry Brooks was in the area. Thankfully, he did not intercept it. He did force the fumble earlier, but thankfully, he did not intercept that one, making it fourth and two now, 35 seconds remaining. Not a whole lot of hope here, but we can still see. We can still try. It's worth a shot. 
On fourth and two, Gunnell drops back, rolls out to his right. Fires that one down the sideline. He's got Ward, who steps out of bounds after 16 yards. Damon Ward with a great catch as he steps out of bounds at the last second to stop the clock. Made sure he got his feet down, and that was a big-time play by that young man uh, coming all the way across the field to give us a first and 10. And now we're back to a four-wide set here from the shotgun. They bring a blitz. Gunnell rolls out to his right. He's got space to go. He's going to be tripped up. He did not get out of bounds. The clock is ticking. We have got to get set and get this pass off. Although it's 15 seconds left. This is really more just for pride more than anything at this stage. 10 seconds now. So we are going to end up losing this game. Now Gunna will drop back. He fires one more deep down the middle. And Kerr this time picks that one off. And he starts to return it. Maybe, and we bowl ourselves over a couple times. And that one's going to be intercepted. Not how you wanted to follow up a loss to Georgia. And we played a lot better against Georgia than what we did here. I mean, legit what we did here. You know, 31 to 17. The fumble by Ragsdale is what set it off. That's what made us lose all momentum in this game. So Tulane does walk away with a win. It's our first conference game, and we end up blowing it. We had, I mean, we had to lead a couple times technically. Tulane kept coming back to tie it. Yeah, but we had our opportunities and we just missed them. Nothing else we can say about that. You know, Gunnell, he played decent. Yes, the interception at the end of the game. You know, that is what it is. But, like I said, I think he still provides an upside. We are going to have to find some adjustments in how we run our offense, though. Gunnell is really good on the ground, and he's good at throwing. I will say I don't think his arm is as strong as Austin's um, on those deep balls. But I, I think we're, we'll have to make the changes. It's going to take us some time to figure it out, but we will get a handle on it. We just need to do it kind of quickly, though, since we've now lost two games in a row and are 2-3 and three on the season. Now, looking at here, we have Daniel McGill, John Williams, and Isaac Tate coming to visit here for this game as the uh, Middle Tennessee has come to North Texas and we have returned home uh, to take, on, take them on in our second conference game. This is going to be a big one. We got recruits here. We need to perform well. That loss put us down at the very bottom of our conference standings. Oh, uh, that's that sucks. That really does suck. But hey, Middle Tennessee is just basically with us right now. We're looking at a toilet bowl championship kind of game, right? We we're two and three. They're one and four on the season. So yeah, we're I think we're definitely better suited for this one than they are. But both teams do not have a win in the conference yet, and this this is going to be a big one for us. All right, we've been on the road the last two weeks. We finally come home, and we really need to put on a performance, not just because we have recruits visiting, you know, not just because of that. And we got a couple of the bigger guys that we need, some of these, these couple of free stars, um, which is our reality for who we're going to who we're going to be getting. We're not getting the blue chips. We're not getting the five stars. The three stars is who we're going to build around, and that's who we can really develop. So let's go ahead and get this game underway. Now, Middle Tennessee did start with the ball, and they did score a touchdown on their opening drive. So we are trailing 7 to nothing as we try to come back here. Gunnell making guys miss, and it's brought down after a gain of six. An entertaining run right there by our quarterback on the option keeper as he got that six yards, Pitt making it a second and four now. So we're going to come out in the shotgun three wide set. Roberts on the line to the right. It's going to be a play action. Gunnell drops back, rolls out to his right. He's got space. He finally takes off at the last second and hit and brought down after he picks up just enough yards there to get the first and 10. Probably needs to make that decision a little earlier, but I don't mind letting him give him, give him giving the receivers time to get open also. Now first and 10 from the pistol formation. Gunnell has a snap, drops back. He's going to take off a lot quicker. He's got a big hole open over the middle. Slides down, smart move. Slides down to protect the ball and protect himself from taking some big hits. At the 17-yard line, as we are now inside the red zone here. Coming set with two backs in the backfield, three wide. Gunnell making changes at the line, has a snap. Middle Tennessee brings a blitz. He fires it over to the left side. He's got Burns, who's hit hard. After a gain of 12 yards, Roderick Burns making a great catch in traffic for us. He does that so often so far this season. He's going to have to be a primary target for us. Gunnell is 3 of 3 for 44 yards on the day. So first and goal from the five. 
He hands it off to Attaway up the middle, lowering his shoulders, and Attaway stopped after four yards and almost got in his first carry of the day. And that's going to give us a second and goal now from the one. Trying to get this game tied up here. Three and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Everybody's going the big package. Gunnell hands this one off to Attaway at the middle. He's going to be stuffed right there. Oh, no gain for Attaway. Gregory Great gets his second tackle of the day. That one preventing a touchdown. So now it's third and goal. Gunnell spreading them out wide this time, trying to see if that opens up some more lanes. Attaway takes it, and it will. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Mean Green. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Grant Gunnell with a touchdown. Or not Gunnell, but handing off to Attaway with a touchdown on that one. And that's going to make it 7-7 uh, seven to seven now. So here we are later in the second quarter. Still game is still tied at 7 as Gunnell drops that pass off to Jair Shorter for 7 yards making it a second and three. That's just shorter second catch of the day. We've got to get some of our big time, big play receivers, Ward and Shorter more involved. I think a little bit quicker. That's gonna make our offense run also a lot smoother than what we've been able to do um, in recent games. So now second and three from the pistol formation. Middle Tennessee looks like they're about to bring a blitz and they do. It's picked up, but not before a lineman is able to get through. The blitz was picked up by the fullback, but Jordan Branch Goes right past his man with ease, and he's going to bring Attaway down for a loss on that play. So that makes it third and five. We are two for two on third downs earlier in the game. Need to keep that up. Gunnell has the snap. Drops back. Fires it off to Burns, who pushes forward with the stiff arm. Throwing a man off of him, and he's brought down after a gain of eight yards, and that's going to give us a brand new set of downs. Gunnell is six of seven for 73 yards so far this afternoon as we continue this drive. First and 10, has the snap, blitz comes, he's hit. He's hit again, and this time he fumbles, but it is recovered by North Texas. Grant Gunnell, he, man, we couldn't see the pressure coming off from behind him, but he escapes that one, but just could not escape the second hit, but he does fumble it, and thankfully we do recover, and it's gonna be second and 17 now. So still going four wide, and this one from the shotgun, Gunnell. It's going to be an option keeper. They bring a blitz off the edge, and that pretty much covered it up. He does pick up two yards, though, which is a good two yards that we kind of need. I would take third and 15 over third and 17 any day of the week. So here we come out for a big-time third down play from the 30-yard line. Three receivers left. Shotgun formation. They bring a blitz. Quick throw to Jair over the middle, pushing forward. 20 yards for shorter, and that's a big-time first down that we desperately needed in this one. You don't want to lose momentum, and you don't want to lose the lead and be having to, and have to play catch-up in any of these games. So since it is tied, we need to take advantage. Now here we come out in a pistol formation. Two tight ends, two receivers left. He has a snap, drops back, drifts to his left side, fires it over. He's got shorter again. What a throw. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Grant going to fit that one into a tight little zone right there as Shorter's able to concentrate, make that catch, and give us a lead. It's so now a little later in the second quarter. We still have the lead 14-7 to here, just under two and a half minutes to go. And we're going to have an option keeper, Gunnell, up the middle, pushing forward, fighting for it, and he's brought down after a gain of eight yards on that one. So our defense has done a pretty good job in this one. They've definitely stepped up, I think, better than what they did against Tulane. I'm holding Middle Tennessee to just five, uh, seven points so far. So second and two, we're still in the shotgun. Three receivers left. It's going to be a screen. Attaway gets around the edge, pushing forward. Attaway picks up five yards on that one, and that is a great job to get those five yards. He easily could have been stopped for no gain or a loss, uh, but just pure power to get us past the sticks for the first down. Now first and 10 as the half cut gets ready to come to a close, just about a minute remaining. Drop that one off to Shorter on the right side, and he takes it out of bounds, stopping the clock with a minute 12 as he pushes all the way to about the 10-yard line. And actually, they're going to mark him out at the 11. So that's going to give us a first and 10 with an opportunity for a first down, but not a touchdown as we come set with two backs, three wide, and a shotgun formation. As the snap stands over, fires it off to Ragsdale on the right side, bounces off tacklers. Ragsdale's in the end zone. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Well, it would have been just five yards. Ragsdale just lowers his shoulder, 
bounces off the tackles and makes it into the end zone to extend our lead now to 14 points. And so 21-7 is where the game stood at halftime, and this is where we find ourselves now in the third quarter. Seven and a half minutes to go. Drops it off to Burns, who almost made that catch, but got clobbered before he could pull it in all the way. And that one does fall incomplete. We are at the 30-yard line on the plus side of the field here in Middle Tennessee State Territory. So second and 10. Gunnell's going to be in a shotgun four wide. Has the snap. It's going to be a screenplay. They drop it off to Attaway. Turns it up the middle, pushing forward. And he picks up six yards on that one. That's going to make it a little bit easier of a third down. Third and four is way better than third and ten. And so now we have an opportunity to continue this drive, make our life a little easier, and we're going to go four wide this time from the shotgun formation. Gun has a snap. He's going to start taking off. He's hit and fumbled once again, but we recover it. We do fall on that one. Gunnell just tried to take off but didn't see Kinley there, and he got clobbered, and that forced us to kick a field goal, which we did make, which makes the game 24-7 to now. And we're out here once the ball once again. Gunnell drops back. He fires it over Shorter, cuts it back to the left. He's got some space. Shorter at the 10, at the 5, and he's brought down just two yards shy of the end zone. 42 yards on that one. Jair Shorter cut it back. And then it just made, it was just a foot race. And man, they almost missed him on that tackle. Instead, great job by that defense to recover and bring him down to stop the touchdown, at least on that play. Now first and goal. Gunnell drops back, fires it over. What an interception. He threw that one a little too late for shorter, but the, oh my goodness, they laid out for that one. But thankfully that interception doesn't turn into anything bad for us as our defense steps up and makes the stop. So the score is still 24 to seven as we drop off this screen pass down the left side. He's got blocking. Attaway down to the sideline, gets hit and pushed forward until about the 25 yard line. He picks up 23 yards on that screen play alone. A great job by Attaway to follow his blockers and then just use pure determination to keep fighting through that tackle. And they actually mark him out at the 24-yard line, so we have a first and 10 just outside of the red zone. Staying in the shotgun, because that's how we like it to be. It's going to be an option keeper. Gunnell up the middle, and they close in on him quickly. A great job coming off the uh, edge from the outside defensive back to come in and make that stop on Gunnell for only a one-yard gain. Now second and nine as the third quarter gets ready to come to a close. Just over a minute and a half remaining. Gunnell hands that one off to Attaway up the middle, pushing forward, spinning off tacklers, and goes down after a gain of about seven yards on that one. Attaway has got 47 yards on the day. Uh, we do need, I do want to see his production pick up. He only has 12 carries, so he's averaging just around four yards per carry, which is pretty decent. We need to continue to give him a shot. Now we hand it off to Attaway again, and he's going to power forward. This time he does get the first down on that big, big time run as we're now at the 10 yard line well inside the red zone here looking to extend our lead. The score is 24 to seven here as we get almost ready to close out the third quarter. Now from the pistol formation, it's gonna be a play action. Gunnell rolls out to his right. He fires it over to Burns who came back for the ball and almost lost his balance going out of bounds, but is able to gather himself and pick up a couple yards on that one. Now that play should take us here to the end of the quarter and it will. So 24 to seven here as we finish off the third quarter. I think we, we still definitely need to play, you know, aggressive, right? If I don't want us to take the gas off, we're not gonna take out our starters right now. It's only 17 points. That can easily be made up in college football, um, even with a 10 minute quarter like we have. So 24 to seven on a second and eight. Gunnels in the uh, shotgun formation, option keeper up the middle. Gunnels into the end zone for eight yard touchdown. Oh my goodness. Oh baby, oh baby. The option keeper right up the middle. They've had that one shut down for most of the day, but they couldn't shut it down right there. Now a little later in the fourth quarter after our defense got another stop. We have possession of the ball once again. He fires it over to Damon Ward, cuts back to the left. Ward running for the corner, and he's going to be brought down at about the one-yard line. Damon Ward picking up about 30 yards on that play. Great route on the deep end route. And once he made the catch, beautiful run after that catch. He cut it back, and then it's just a foot race to the pylon. And, man, they barely got him. And they actually marked him down at the two. He should have been down at the one. 
So now we're going to come out in a power eye formation. Gunnell drops back. Pressure comes, and he's going to get sacked for a loss of nine yards. Oh, man. We were trying to give our receiver time to cut across. There was too many bodies in the middle to throw that one up, um, especially after that great play for the interception earlier in the game. Didn't want to try to make that same mistake again. And uh, we'll take the sack, I guess, over a turnover any day. So second and goal now. Gunnell drops back, fires it out to Burns, and he's into the end zone from 11 yards out. Roderick Burns on the reception. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Gunnell hits his third touchdown of the afternoon, and that is all we would need to finish off Middle Tennessee State. At this point, we were able to uh, get ready to put in our backups to close this game out. Our offense did a fantastic job. Gunnell did throw the one interception, but you know, as an interception on a fantastic play. Guys are going to make plays at times. you got to give them credit for that. Um, but a, a, overall, a great job by Gunnell. And now we're back at 500 as we get ready to continue our uh, Conference USA run here. So a great job by this mean green offense and a great job rebounding after back-to-back -back losses. Now, that does remind me, if y'all have not hit the subscribe button, I would definitely suggest hitting that button. And if you did like today's video, please give us a thumbs up. It does help out the channel uh, a lot, and I do greatly appreciate everything y'all have done for us here at Champ and Sons Gaming as of recent times. It has been a major help to us, um, all the support we have seen from y'all and from the community. So thank y'all very much for that. So now that we're back at 500, this is going to set us up. We're going to be getting ready to play some big-time games against rivals like Rice, um, UTSA, and you know th these are going to be big-time opportunities for us, especially with recruiting. And you got to love playing this well in front of recruits. You really do. That's something that's going to help us uh, out as we really try to establish ourselves as an offensive coordinator. Now, Lee Inman, a 69 overall three-star defensive tackle, EJ Bonner, 66 overall and our line, middle linebacker also 66 overall a couple three stars guys signing with us so that's a good one to see now to start out the next episode we will be on the road against the home of terry bradshaw um, and that duck dynasty guy so we'll see how that goes for us and on that note i will see y'all in the next episode everybody so as always stay safe and well y'all know how it goes by now right later y'all